Hello, good evening. Good hello, evening, teacher. Good evening. Hello, hello, good evening. How are you? Good, good. I'm very good. Thank you. Hello, Hilmar. How are you? Hi, teacher. Um, very good, teacher. Oh, nice. It's good to know. Hello, Salma. Hello. How are you? Mm, so, so. <laughs> oh, really? Are you, do you feel sick? Uh, no. No. Um, I, I have very, very uh, sleep. <laughs> oh, really? Uh, yes. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, so let's see. Uh, we have some people connected with cameras off. Okay. Let's wait a moment. So in one minute, I pass the attendance. Just let me prepare it here. Okay, Carlos, thank you very much for informing. Gracias por informar. Thank you. Okay, uh, ¿cómo le fue con los números ordinales? Encontrar unas respuestas. Did you find the answers? Uh -huh. Sí. sí yes. Yes, okay, excellent, excellent. Very good. Muy bien. Vamos, le vamos a dar una repasadita antes de entrar a la unidad 3, okay? Y vamos a hacer una práctica. We will do a little practice about that. Hello, Sara. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine. And you? Oh, nice. I'm okay. Thank you for asking. Okay. Hello, Ellen Nielsen. Hello, teacher. How is it going? Doing good. Everything okay. How about you? Hey, How do you feel? Good night, teacher. I'm good. <laughs> good. Oh, nice. That's excellent. Hello, Rafael. Hello. How are you? I'm okay. Thank you for asking. And you? Uh, today is easy, easy. Oh, nice. I like it. <laughs> you had an easy day, a nice day. Me? Yeah. Hello, teacher. Good night. Hello, hello. Good evening. How are you? I'm uh, very good. Oh, nice. That's excellent. They are really in my house. Oh, just arriving to your house from work. Yes. Del trabajo from work. Yes. 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 Okay. Okay. Um. Well, let's start. Solo antes de empezar, just before we start, um, what is the difference between good night and good evening? I, I, I ask you because some people say good evening and some people say good night, right? Algunos uh, dicen good evening y otros good night. So what is the difference? Sería, ¿Cuál es la diferencia? For me, the main... Good evening okay, so... sería tarde noche. Mm -hmm. Y good night ya como que para irnos a dormir o algo así. Buenas noches. Okay. Okay. Digo yo. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's okay. I mean, it's valid. Uh, Ellen Nielsen, uh, were you about to, to give your opinion? Sí, más o menos iba a decir lo mismo, que good evening, bueno, al menos lo que yo he escuchado es que good evening es cuando yo llego a un lugar y, y, y good night cuando me despido. Ok, excelente. Thank you. Uh, ¿Anybody else? ¿Alguien más? Good evening good es evening cuando, en, digamos, en cualquier ocasión y good night es cuando vamos a dormir. Okay, no. excellent. <laughs> no, it's okay. I mean, everything is valid. Yeah, it's true. You're right. Okay, todos andan muy, muy acertados. Okay, it's true. Okay, good evening es un saludo de llegada, aunque ya esté noche. Okay, for example, ahorita que vienen a la clase, el saludo debe ser good evening. Okay, es un saludo de llegada. Okay, good evening. Si llegan a visitar a alguien a las 7, 8, good evening cuando llegan, right? Y cuando se van, Good night. Good night es un saludo de despedida o de salida, ¿ok? Ok, goodbye. Ok, goodbye. Good night. Ok, nos vemos. Buenas noches. Goodbye and good night. ¿Ok? O cuando se van a dormir, you say good night. ¿Ok? Yeah, so that's the difference. Esa es la diferencia. So when you come to the class, cuando vienen a la clase, it's good evening. Es un saludo de llegada. Y cuando nos vamos, good night. ¿Ok? Yes, agree. Ok, thank you. Ok, perfecto. So, uh, it's good to discuss these things. Es bueno discutir estas cosas, ¿ok? 
Okay, uh, so let's start uh, with the attendance. Aida? Present. Blanca? Present. Carlos? Oh, Carlos is listening, okay. Claudia? Present. Very good. Ellen Nilsson? Present, teacher. Nice. Hilmar? Present, teacher. Good. Irma? Present, teacher. Javier? Present, teacher. Nice. Jamie? Present. Very good. Carla? Maria? Hello, Mario. Present teacher. <clears throat> okay, okay. Marvin? Marvin is not connected, okay. Rafael? Present teacher. Very good. Robinson? Mario is working. Okay, I read your message, Mario. Thank you for informing. Gracias por informar. Robinson? I'm not present yet. Salma? Present. Very good. Santos? <coughs> Santos? Not present yet. Okay. Sara? Present, teacher. Wendy? Present, teacher. Liz? And Vanessa, not connected yet. Okay, everybody. Uh, so please uh, be welcome to my class. Sean bienvenidos al clase, be welcome to my class. And well, um, basically we are on half of the module. Básicamente estamos a la mitad del módulo, okay? Exactly at half of the module, exactamente a la mitad del módulo, okay? So today we start section three or week number three. Hoy empezamos la semana tres. Teacher, pero es martes. Yeah, pero empezamos, si recuerdan, empezamos un martes, right? We started a, a Tuesday, okay? So today we start section three, unit number three. Empezamos la sección tres, unidad tres, okay? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we are on half. Ya vamos a mitad de módulo, prácticamente. We are on half of the, of the module. Yeah, hello, hello, good evening. Peter, eh, no sé, eh, me desconecté un ratito, o sea, el, el, el internet creo que me falló, no pude eh, responder en la asistencia porque me quedó como trabada la pantalla. Yeah, but I know you were here, yo sé que estabas conectado, I know you were connected, okay, Thank don't you. worry, don't worry. A buen apetit, María, <laughs> I can see you are enjoying something. Okay, okay. Uh, so uh, I was saying, be welcome to my class. Uh, so today we start uh, unit number three, section number uh, three. And before uh, we go to unit three, antes de ir a la unidad tres, before we go to unit three, uh, we are going to have a little practice uh, about ordinal numbers, okay? Vamos a tener una pequeña práctica de números ordinales. A little practice about ordinal numbers, okay? But first, um, I remember we studied the months. Recuerdo que estudiamos los meses, right? Yes? What is the first month? What is the first month of the year? El primer January. Mes. Is January? Second? February. 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 Third? March. March. Fourth? April. 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 It's not April, right? It's April. 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 Fifth? May. Oh. May. May. May or May? May. May. Ah, May. 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 That's right. May. Sixth? June. 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 Seventh? July. July. Eighth? August. 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 Ninth? August. September. September. Tenth? October. Eleventh? November. November. And twelfth? December. December. Exactly, that's right. Okay, thank you very much. And I, and I remember uh, we started some ordinal numbers, right? Recuerdo que estudiamos algunos números ordinales. We started some ordinal numbers, okay? Okay, uh, and you were supposed to complete um, some numbers, okay? With the information. Okay, let me show you. I don't know if you did it. No sé si completaron los, los números que teníamos. Did you complete the numbers? Yes. Yes? Yes. Yes, yes or no? Levanten la mano los que lo hicieron. Raise your hands. Go to reactions and raise your hands. 
Ok, majority. Ok, let me see. Ah, Salma, Sara, Santos, Maria, Elena Nilsson, Javier, Wendy, Jamie, and Claudia. Half, ok. Well, more than half, más de la mitad. Ok, thank you very much. Good, so we are going to check quickly. Vamos a revisar rapidamente. We are going to check quickly, ok. Good, so here I have the numbers. Por aquí están los números. Here I have the numbers, yes? Now I ask you quickly, uh, what do you have on the first space? ¿Qué tenía en el, mismo, en el primer espacio? Here. First. First, first, first. Here? Second. Second, second. second. Here? Third. Third, third. The third. pronunciation is third, third. Here? Fourth. 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 Here? Fifth. Fifth, Fifth. exactly. Fifth. Here? Six. 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 Exactly. Here? Seven. 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 Here? Eight. 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 Eighth. Eighth. You say eighth. The pronunciation. Eighth. eighth. Uh, here? Ninth. 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 Okay. Ninth. Ninth. Next? Tenth. 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 This one? Tenth. Tenth. 11. No, 11, 11, oh, okay, 11. we are on 11, okay, 11, yes. 11, yes. next, 12, 12, 12, exactly, this one, 13, 13, 13, okay, 13, 13, 13, or 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 15th. This one? 16th. 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 Exactly. This one? 17th. 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 This one? 18th. 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 Dijimos que la TH iba entre medio de los dientes, ¿verdad? 18th. 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 This one? 19th. 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 And this one? Uh, Okay. Next. Twenty first. Twenty first. Exactly. Twenty first. Twenty first. The next. Twenty second. Twenty second. Twenty third. Twenty third. Twenty third. Next. 24, 24, 20, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, Twenty-six. Twenty-six. Next. Twenty-seven. Twenty-seven. Twenty Twenty-eight. Twenty-eight. Exactly. Next. Twenty-nine. 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 And the last one. Thirteen. Mm -hmm. oh, no sé cómo <laughs> <laughs> you say, uh, yeah, it's okay. I know you have it correct. Yo sé que lo tienen correcto. But the pronunciation is thirtieth. Thirtieth. No, 30th, 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 30th. 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 that's right, 30th, okay. yes, 30th. 30th, you say 30, 30th. right, el número es 30, el 30, pero el número ordinal sería 30th. 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 30th, 30th, very good, okay, thank you very much, okay, I can see you have them correct, veo que los tienen bien, now, in the next part, I have the numbers, okay, for you to see them, por aquí están para que los vean, Here I have the numbers, okay? So we have first, second, third, fourth, okay? And so on. Now, please, lo vam vamos a llegar hasta el 30 igual. Hasta el 31, okay? Until 31st. Now, listen. Listen to the pronunciation carefully, okay? Listen to the pronunciation carefully. The first time, only listen. La primera vez, solo escuchen nada más. Only listen. Don't repeat. Only listen, okay? Yeah? Don't repeat, only listen, please. Listen. So, I'm going to start. Sean el, el cursor, la flechita. Se mira la flechita, ¿verdad? Yes? 
¿Se mira la flechita? Yes. Okay, let's yes. begin. Yes. Let's begin. Empecemos. Just listen and pay attention to the pronunciation. Escuchen y pongan atención a la pronunciación, okay? First. Second. Third. Only listen, only listen, only listen, please, okay? Listen and pay attention to the pronunciation, okay? First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh, twelfth, thirteenth, fourteenth, fifteenth, sixteenth, 17th, 18th, 19th, 20th, 21st, 21st, 22nd, 23rd, 3rd, 24th, 25th, 26th, 27th, 28th, 29th, 30th, 30th. First, listen again, please. Only listen. Escuchemos otra vez. Only listen and pay attention to pronunciation, okay? First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh, twelfth, thirteenth, fourteenth, fifteenth, sixteenth, seventeenth, 18th, 19th, 20th, 21st, 22nd, 23rd, 24th, 25th, 26th, 27th, 28th, 29th, 30th, 31st. Uh, Wendy, do you have a question? Wendy, pregunta. Veo que tiene levantada la mano, Wendy. No. no, no la había bajado. Ah, ok, ok. So please, this time let's repeat with the microphone up. Vamos a repetir pero con micrófono apagado, ok, para que no haya interferencias. So we have no interference. Ready? Quiero verlo pronunciando. I want to see you pronouncing, ok? Please. Are you ready? ¿Estamos listos? Yes. Yes. Ok, yes. let's start. Empecemos. Microphones off, right? Con micrófonos apagados, with microphones off. First. 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 Microphones First. off. Microphones apagados. Microphones off. Please. Okay, let's do it again. First. Okay, how do. Okay, let's do it again. First. Vamos otra vez. First. Second. Second, third, third, fourth, fourth, fifth, fifth, sixth, sixth, seventh, seventh, eighth, eighth, ninth, Ninth, tenth, tenth. Vamos al décimo primero. Eleventh, eleventh, twelve, twelve, thirteenth, thirteenth, fourteenth, fourteenth. 15th, 15th, 16th, 16th, 17th, 17th, 18th, 18th, 19th, 19th, 20th, 20th, 20th. La T no se pronuncia, ¿ok? 20th. 20th, 21st, 21st, 22nd, 22nd, 23rd, 
23rd, 24th, 24th, 25th, 25th, 26th, 26th, 27th, 27th, 28th, 28th, 29th, 29th, igual aquí la T no se pronuncia, 30th, 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 31st, 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 ok, now pay attention, uh, what is the idea of ordinal numbers? ¿Cuál es la idea de usar números ordinales? What is the idea of ordinal numbers? Is for dates, para fechas. Ok, like birthdays, for example. Ok, like dates, para fechas. For centuries, para siglos, por ejemplo, 16th century. El siglo XVI, decimos nosotros, right? So you use ordinal numbers. Usamos ordinal numbers. Ok, um... Para secuencia o, o el orden de algo, my team came second, for example, in the league. Mi equipo terminó segundo, second, right? Obviously, you use an ordinal number. Usamos un número ordinal. And then for floors of a building, para los pisos de un edificio. His office is on the 10th floor, for example. Su oficina está en el, tercer, en el décimo piso, perdón. So you use ordinal numbers for floors, para pisos de un edificio. For example, you can say, my office is on the second floor. Mi oficina está en el segundo piso. You say, second floor. Okay? Repeat. We use ordinal numbers for dates, para fechas en general. For dates in general. Okay? Pueden ser birthdays, uh, holidays, pueden ser días festivos, por ejemplo. Okay? Uh, or celebrations. Para secuencia. Okay? And... For floors of a building, para pisos de un edificio, o de un, en general, de un edificio, ¿ok? So, do you have any question? Do you have any question about ordinal numbers? Questions? No? Clear? ¿Estamos claros? Yes. Teacher. Yes. Uh, question. Ok, uh, Ma, Javier, the... and then Santos. Javier y luego Santos. Yes, Javier. Uh... Solo, solo una consulta, que en algunas, digamos que como en second eh, y en 20 second, yo escuchaba como que al final se, se pronuncia como la de second, bueno, sí lo escuché que lo pronunciaba. Second. It's right, es correcto, second. Pero second. Es un, ajá, pero no es una, ajá, pero no es una de muy prolongada, muy larga, es una de así, ajá. second, second. Ah, es que second. Le voy a, no, no es que voy a decir second, no, second. Mm. Ah, una, cort, una D corta, a short D. Ah, ok, ah, okay. thank mm -hmm. you. Ok, no problem. Uh, Jess Santos? Uh, no, 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 teacher, solamente. Ok, ok, so no questions. Ok, any other question? No? Ok, very good. Then, if you have no questions, make a screenshot. Háganle una captura a esta pantalla, ok? Si no tienen, eh, si no hay una forma de hacerlo en su computadora, pueden hacerlo tomándole foto de un celular, ¿ok? It's ok. Para que vean en qué momento se usan los números ordinales y para que tengan los números ordinales básicos, ¿ok? Aquí hay una pequeña explicación que normalmente les ponemos TH, ¿ok? Excepto para first, second y third, ¿ok? Pues en algún momento va a estar mejor por... Ok, did you make the screenshot? Hicieron la captura? Did you make the screenshot? Yes? Yes. Ok, now yes. listen. Uh, in groups of three, en equipos de tres, in groups of three, we will practice the pronunciation. Vamos a practicar la pronunciación. Imagine I practice with Claudia and Javier. So yo digo first, Claudia second, Javier third. Luego yo empiezo otra vez, fourth, Claudia fifth, Javier sixth. Y vamos así tomando turnos, ¿ok? La siguiente vez empieza alguien más. Y así, a modo de que todos pronunciemos todos los números, ¿ok? Yeah. So we will practice in groups of three, ¿ok? Approximately. Aproximadamente en equipos de tres. Así que deben tener la captura de pantalla. You must have the screenshot, ¿ok? 
clear? ¿Estamos claros? ¿Is it clear? Is yeah. It... Yes. 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 Yes, okay, that's perfect. So take turns, tomen turnos. Okay, take turns, please. Pronouncing the numbers. So let me see how many people I have. Carlos is busy, is working, and Mario is driving. Los demás están disponibles, ¿verdad? Yes? Yes. Okay, let me see. I have 5, 10, 14, 16th. 16th people. So that means I will make five groups, okay? All right. No digan ya terminé. Okay, just keep practicing. Solo manténganse practicando, okay? Hasta que yo lo saque. Until I get you out. Ready? Yes. Okay, let's go. Hello, Gilmo. Oh, I'm sorry. Había otra forma uh -huh. aquí de hacer los grupos. Permítanme un segundo. Give me a second. Uh -huh. Give me a second. Ok, now let's start. Okay. Let's go. Eh, it's a moment, it's a moment. moment. Una vez cada uno. Yes, yes it's a moment. Esperen un momentito. Yes. Okay, it's my turn. Yes. 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 Here. Second. Excuse me, Claudia. Ah, bye. Second, third. Uh, Emma, and you. Fourth. Fifth. Fifth. Gilmar. Ah, I am. <laughs> yes. Ah, sixth. No, yo soy sixth. I'm sorry. Uh, seven. Eight. Night. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Eh, qué desgracia que me, me toca ese que me cuesta, pero, pero <laughs> quiero ver. Yo creo 13. que este. No, thirteen. Thirteen. Yes. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen. Uh, 20. 20. 20. 23rd. 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 Oh, or oh, it's, it's 23rd. 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 Okay, 23rd. Teacher, una pregunta. Se pueden pronunciar para no sentir larga la, la palabrita que es 20. Se po podríamos pronunciar 20. Yes, yeah, it's okay. 20. 20, it's okay. You can say 20 or 20. Actually, the, in reality, actually, uh, the most common is 20. El más común is 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. Ah, yeah. Yes, it's the most common. Ah, más corto. Ah, más común, no. El más común. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 26. Oh. No, it's 26. 14. 
pasa vaya, pero fíjense que yo, vaya, les ah, voy bueno. a ser sincero. Eh, eh, Claudia, yes. fíjate que yo tengo, uh, I have a problem is in the pronunciation del, okay. el, el certain. Certain. Yes. Es you say 13th. 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 Yes, 13th. Es que, es que yo intentaba no pronunciar esa, esa letra T como dijo usted, teacher. Por okay. eso es que no comprendía. Yes, la TH se pronuncia como 13th. 13th. Con la lengua entre los dientes. Ajá, exactly, la like Z in Spanish. Exactly. La like Z in real 13. Spanish. Uh -huh. Ajá, 13th. Yes. Exactly. 13. Ah. Yes. 13. 13th. 13th. 31st. 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 31st es el trigésimo primero, okay? 31st. Ajá, 31st. Exactly. 31st. 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 32nd. 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 33 Oh, okay. Number one, Gilmar. Oh, okay. Twenty-eight. Twenty-nine. Thirty-first. Okay. Ahora empiezo. Mm -hmm. Fair, fair. Second. I start. Yo empiezo. I start. I start. I start. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> eh, si usted empieza otra vez, Santo. Okay. I start. Fair. <laughs> 14. Pay attention, we have a teacher in uh, our group. Okay. <laughs> 14. 14. <laughs> Perfect. 16. Go ahead. 15. Uh, 15. Así. Ya, yeah, si, siempre con la Z al final, el sonido de la Z, 15. 15. Eh, just, just a little child is learning English too. Yeah, I can see he's learning English too. También está aprendiendo, he's repeating, está repitiendo, yeah. he's repeating. <laughs> ok. 16. Y mamá ya está. 17th, 18th, 19th, 19th, perfect, 20th, 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 igual con el sonido de Zeta. 20th. 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 Ok. 21st. Sorry for the interruption. Solo, eh, Carla, solo informar nada más que ahora te corresponde la sesión 1 a 1, ¿ok? Bueno, gracias. Ok. Continue, please. Sorry for the interruption. No problem. No okay. problem. Ok. Okay. Javier. 21st. 28. 29. 30. 13. No. 30th. 30th. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. Ambas están ok. 30th or 30th. Ok. 30th. 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 Uh -huh. Or 30th. Yes. It's ok. 15th. 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 
Farting, farting, far. Hasta el, hasta, el, hasta el trigésimo primero yo voy a llegar, ¿ok? Until 31st, ¿ok? 31st. Ya. Yeah. <laughs> No, no, no. Yeah, it's okay. Que... It's okay. I, because we are four. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. No problem. When is it to the first? Okay. First. Twenty first. No. Right. You, you begin. You start. You start when. No. Okay. You start. Okay. First, second, first. No, pero es first, no thirty. First. Mm -hmm. First. First, second, three. No, three. ¿Cómo se dice tres? Third. 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 Remember, recuerden. First, second, Wendy. first. Wendy, hello. Remember, recuerden para los tres, ok, remember. La TH se pronuncia con la lengua entre los dientes, dijimos. Así que el tercero sería third, como empieza con TH, third, 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 third. Yes. Entonces el 3 es first. Third. Third. First. Third. Oh. Remember, recuerden, les dije, el, la TH en inglés se pronuncia con la lengua entre los dientes. Sería third. 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 Empieza con TH, right? It starts with TH. Empieza con TH. You say third. 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 Ok. Very good. Uh, so thank you very much for uh, for practicing. Okay, for your hard work. Okay, thank you very much. To finish this, para terminar, to finish this. Listen, please, please think, think about three events you have for this month. Think about three events you have for this month, okay? Piensen en tres eventos que tienen para este mes. Think. And then you write the events. Vamos a usar los números ordinales. For example, let me give you one example. One event for this month can be, un evento para este mes podría ser, could be, right? Could be, let me write it here. Se lo voy a escribir acá. Para darles el ejemplo. Uh, for example, uh, oh my goodness, I'm sorry. Let me get the pen here. It can be, for example, um, let me see. An English, oh my goodness. An English class, okay? An English class. It's an event, right? It's an event, an English class. You, you write period, okay? An English class, and then you say, uh, let me see. On Wednesday, on the day, right? El día. On Wednesday, Comma, uh, February, uh, ninth. Okay. Y vamos a usar el número ordinal, nine. An English class on Wednesday, February, ninth. Okay. Now you write about three events you have for this month. Ahora ustedes de esa forma van a escribir tres eventos que tienen para este mes. You can say, for example, a meeting, a meeting. On what? I don't know. Let me let me check the date. You can say a meeting, for example, on Tuesday 15th. Okay, on Tuesday, February 15th, for example. Or you can say a conference. A conference on Friday, February 25th, for example. Aquí va el ordinal number. Okay, en esta, en esta parte de acá iría el ordinal number. Clarito? Is it clear? Three events, please, for this month. Three events you have for this month. Tres eventos que tienen. First, name of the event. Primero va el nombre del evento. First, name of the event, okay? Here. 
La pregunta llega hasta el punto, ¿verdad? Yes, hasta aquí llega el nombre del evento. Luego, el día, on Wednesday, oh my goodness. On Wednesday. And finally, y terminamos con el month y el número ordinal. ¿Ok? La fecha, el mes con la fecha. ¿Ok? So you will do it the same. Lo harán lo mismo. You will do it the same way. Three events only, all right? Solo tres eventos. And you need to check the calendar for the events, all right? You need to check the calendar for the events, okay? So check the calendar, please. Teacher, go yes. to the doctor is an event. Yes, it's an appointment. It's okay. But I am going to say go to the doctor, not yeah. uh, go to the doctor. No, no, you can say, um, let me see. Doctor's appointment, you can say. Cita con el doctor. Doctor's okay. appointment. Doctor's appointment. Like this. Let me write it for you here. But in this case, I can say a doctor's appointment. Exactly. A doctor's, okay. then appointment, que es cita, okay? A doctor's appointment. Una cita okay. con el doctor. A doctor's appointment.
Teacher. Ya. Yeah. Y se puede decir, and, and driver married on Saturday, February 22. 22nd. 22nd. A driver's what? Married. Married. What do you um, want to say? What do you want to say in Spanish? ¿Qué quieres decir en español? Yo, yo, yo voy a, a manejar a, 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 a unos esposos, a, una, a, un, a alguien que se va a casar. Mm, oh, oh, let me see. Oh my goodness, how can I say that in English? Um, you can say a wedding's drive. A wedding's drive. Weddings, wedding, wedding is a marriage. You can say a marriage drive. Ah. Marriage, a marriage drive. Marriage drive. Drive, okay. yeah, it's okay. Okay, one minute, un minuto más, only one minute, and that's it. Teacher, I have a question. <clears throat> tell me, tell me, Javier. Uh, I say, I say uh, official, official meeting or? An official, an, an official meeting. Uh, an official meeting. Meeting, exactly. Uh, okay. Thank you. Okay, no problem. Okay, uh, so in this moment, uh, you can share the events you have, okay? If you have one event, share one event. Si tienen solo un evento, compartan, okay? If you have two events, you share. Three events, you share, okay? But now to participate, para participar, to participate, um, Javier, uh, can you please do me a favor? Puedes hacerme un favor? Can you do me a favor? Uh, yes. Okay, Javier. Uh, can you please tell me three consonant letters? Puedes decirme tres consonantes? Three consonant letters, please. Any consonant letters you want. Uh, okay. Uh, B. Okay. Two more. Uh, J. Okay, J. And T. And T. All right, let me see. Uh, I will consider first and second names, okay? First. And second names, yeah? Okay, let's see. Uh, first we have letter B. Okay, let me see. Uh, let me see, B, J, and T, right? B, J, and T. So Beatriz, Irma, Beatriz. So you are the first. Javier, you are the second, because you say J, right? This is the J, right? So Javier, you are the second. Uh, Sara Beatriz, you are the next. You will participate, Sara, for this one. Uh, let me see here, B, J, T. Uh, let me see, Aida Beatriz, you are the next. Oh my God, tenemos tres Beatrices acá. Okay, okay, Aida, you are the next, all right? Uh, then we have, let me see. Um, <laughs> Blanca, all right, Blanca, are you ready? Yes, yes we have- Yes, teacher, I'm awesome. ready. Uh, excellent, that's very good. So we have Blanca, we have, um, let me see, Jamie will participate in this activity too. Jamie, because Javier said letter J, right? Uh, let me see here. Uh, only demo, right? So let's listen to Irma first, okay? One, two or three events. Los, ev los eventos que tengan, the events you have. But please, say the ordinal numbers with the month, okay? Digan los números ordinales con el mes, please, okay? Yeah? Yes. Okay, let's yes. listen to Irma. I have a meeting on the 14th in, 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 February. On February 13th. 
First the month and 14th. then the date. Uh -huh. yeah. I'm having a meeting on the 14th and February. No, February 13th. Uh, primero el mes de February. No, listen, listen, listen. Listen, uh -huh. Irma. First the month and then the date. Primero el mes y luego la fecha. First the month and then the date. Okay, February 13th. Okay? Oh, uh, yeah. Repeat okay. the example, please. I she has connection problems, I think. Irma, I think you have. Hello. Con, repeat, repeat, Irma. I have a meeting of uh, February. I have a meeting February on 14. 14. Very good. Continue. I have present the report and my boss in February 2nd, 2nd okay. 22nd. Okay, very good. I have this. I have visited my mother in the in the March second week. Second. Second second week. Ah, the second week. All right, very good. That's excellent. The second week of of March. Okay. Uh, listen, what Irma was saying is important. Okay. Lo que Irma estaba diciendo es importante, ¿ok? Ella quería decir primero el número ordinal. Do you think that's possible? Y después el mes. ¿Creen que eso es posible? The, you can say the first of May, the second of January. Is it possible? Eso, ¿Es eso posible? No, right? It sounds kind of weird. Suena más o menos raro. It sounds kind of weird, ¿ok? It's, it's I mean... Sometimes maybe you will listen to it. Algunas veces tal vez lo escucharán así, pero no, no a menudo, okay? Not often, okay? Not often times. Okay, let's continue with Javier. Okay. Uh, I have celebrate on Monday, February 14. Happy Valentine. Okay. Uh, I have celebrate birthday. Uh, Saturday, 12, Armando. Okay, Armando's uh, birthday. Okay, continue. Yeah, yes, uh, I have a visit, uh, how do you say, a uh, volcano? To the volcano? Ah, okay, ah, okay. I have a visit volcano Friday, 11, an official mission. Okay, very good. Thank you very much. That's good, Javier. Okay, and now let's listen to Sara. I have a meeting on Tuesday, February uh, 11th. All right. I have a conference on Monday, February 15th. 15th, very good. I have a dentist appointment on Friday uh, 19th. Okay, very good. That's excellent. On Friday, February, right? February 19th. 19. Yes, all right. Thank you very much, Sara. Now let's listen to Aida. Uh, visit my family on Saturday, February 12th. All right. Visit, visit the doctor on Friday, February 18th. And go to the bank on Tuesday, February 15th. Okay, that's great. Thank you very much. Blanca, it's your turn. I have a birthday on Sunday, February 20, 20, 20th. 20th, 20th. 20th. Yeah, I continue. I have a dinner on Saturday, February 19th. I have a doctor's appointment on Monday, February 14th. Okay, thank you. That's excellent, Blanca. And the last one, Jamie, are you ready? No, I think she's not ready, right? Okay, uh, thank you very much for your participations, okay? And now please everybody, go to reactions and let's give participations a reaction. Vamos a darles una reacción. Go to give them a reaction, please. Okay, thank you for your participation. Very appreciated. Thank you very much. Good. Now, um, I have a question for everybody. But look at me, please. Look at me, all right? Look at me. No, no vean el material. Vean, vean, la, vean la camera. Look at the camera, all right? Look at the camera. The question is, 
What is the name of unit number three? Look at the camera. <laughs> what is the name of unit number three? Yes? Okay, now you can look at the material. Ahora sí pueden ver el material. Now you can look at the material. Check it out. Revisen. What is the name of unit number three? Yes, help me please. What is the name of unit number three? The Charles Evans at the workplace. Exactly, it's a schedule. Schedule event. event. Uh, schedule. Schedule. At the workplace. At the workplace, exactly. A schedule events at the workplace. Schedule. schedule. What is a schedule? Schedule. A schedule Horario. events. Horario. Mm -hmm. But the phrase a schedule events. How do you say a schedule event in Spanish? Oh, no. Scheduled events. Horarios eventuales. Horarios eventuales. Uh, oh, bitácora. No. Eventos agendados. Eh, eh, exactly. Eh. I like that translation. Ellen Nielsen's translation. Okay. Eventos agendados. Schedule events at the workplace. Yeah, that's the, the, the right translation. Okay. Eventos agendados en el lugar de trabajo. At the workplace. Okay. Scheduled events. 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 Exactly. Events. It's not events, it's events, all right? Events. So that's the name of unit number three. Now let's go to activity number one, or let's go to the first activity of unit number three. And here we have a little discussion, okay? And in the discussion, we have this question here. Hold on a second. Question number one is, who schedules the events at your workplace? ¿Quién agenda los eventos? In the lugar de trabajo. Who schedules the events at the workplace, at your workplace? You can say, for example, my boss. It's only one example, right? You can say my boss. Or you can say uh, me, teacher, me. All right, yo, me, right? Uh, second question, segunda pregunta, second question. Uh, what are some events that are taking place the next week? All right? ¿Cuáles son algunos eventos que tomarán lugar la siguiente semana? I don't know. It's personal, right? Maybe you can say a conference. I don't know. All right? A conference. Or you can say maybe, um, I don't know. It's, it's, these are only ideas. Solo son ideas. Or you can say a meeting maybe, all right? A meeting. Okay? You can say a celebration. Una celebración de algo, okay? St. Valentine's, for example, right? A celebration, yeah? So please, write three events or some events, right? Escriban al menos unos tres eventos. At least three events. Al menos tres eventos que tomarán lugar la siguiente semana. Dos o tres eventos. Two or three events, okay? Okay, take a moment and answer the two questions.
Make it simple. In question number one, you only say me, my boss, my coworker, no sé quién, okay? I don't know who, who schedules the events. In number two, only mention two or three events for next week, okay? Are you ready? Yes, no? Not yet. Oh, no, not yet. One minute, un minuto más, one minute. These questions are on page 29. Las preguntas se salen en la página 29. Page 29, okay? Página 29, page 29. Page 29, okay? Good. In the meantime, I will pass the attendance. Mientras sigan trabajando, les pasaré asistencia, okay? And we start later. Mm -hmm. Aida? Present. Blanca? Present. Carlos? Is listening. Claudia? Present. Ellen Nilsson? Present, teacher. Very good. Gilmar. Present teacher. Nice. Irma. Present teacher. Okay. Javier. Present teacher. Nice. Jamie. Present. Carla. Present. Maria. Present. Mario. Marvin. Rafael. Rafael. Okay. Robinson. I am here, teacher. All right. Salma. Okay. Santos. Presente, teacher. Sara. Present, teacher. Wendy. Present, teacher. Liz. And Vanessa. Present, teacher. Oh, Liz, present yes, teacher. right? Okay, and Vanessa is present too, right? Thank you. Okay, very good. Okay, uh, are you ready to share? Are you ready to answer the questions? Están listos? Are you ready? Yes, no? Yes, I think, right? Okay, let's see. Yes. Um, Maria, uh, can you please tell me two vowels? Me, me puede decir okay. dos vocales, por favor, two vowels, please? Um, I. I and? You. And you, all right. I and you. So you are the first to participate. Isabel, right? Isabel, yes. okay. <laughs> I and you, let me see. I, Irma, yeah. participated. Uh, mm -hmm. Let me see here who else can mm -hmm. Let me see. Oh my goodness. I and you yourself, right? I don't yeah. find anybody, only you. E, then I change. Okay, tell me another vowel. Otra, otra, otra uh, vocal. Another. E. E, okay, letter E. Let me see if I find somebody with letter E. E, E, oh my goodness, nobody. Another vowel, please. 
Um, I say I, E, A. A, okay, thank you. I like that one, A, all right, A. With letter A, we have Javier participated, right? Uh, we have um, Antonio, Rafael Antonio. Okay, Rafael will participate in this one. Well, Aida particip participated, right? Participó en la anterior, yes, right? Yes, uh, we have, um, let me see, who else? Robinson, Alberto, right? Robinson will participate in this one. Um, Apenas vengo ingresando, entonces estoy un poco... Okay, it's okay, don't worry, está bien. Uh, Liz, you will participate in this one. Are you ready, Liz? O también viene ingresando. Voy ingresando, pero... Ah. But you will try. Okay, yeah. okay Liz, excellent. Uh, Hilmar, you will participate in this one too. Uh, let me see. Um, Blanca, Blanca, yeah, he, she participated. Ya participó en anterior, okay. Uh, let me see who else. Carla, yeah, Carla, are you ready? Carla? Carla, are you ready? Well, Isabel. Okay, let's begin with Maria Isabel, all right? Maria Isabel. Okay, Maria Isabel, yes. who schedules the events at your workplace? In my workplace, I have a meeting with the owner of the company on Monday, February 14th. Question number one. It's question number one first. Ah, okay. Number one. okay. Who schedules uh, the events at your workplace? Uh, my coworkers. Ah, your co-workers. Co your co-workers. Very good. Mm -hmm. What are mm -hmm. some events that are taking place the next week? Well, first, uh, I have a meeting with the owner of the company on Monday, fe February 14th. Okay. And, and uh, I have to say to send a report week, weekly on Friday, February 11th. All right, on Friday, February 11th. Excellent. Okay. Only two. One more? Oh, no, it's two. okay, it's okay, it's okay, only two. Okay, okay. Uh, let's see, Maria, uh, can you ask Rafael the questions, please? Yes. Uh, Rafael. Uh, who scheduled the event at your workplace? Rafael? Uh, uh, somebody, somebody today. Somebody? Um, what, what are some events that are taking place the next week. Uh, meeting my boss. Mm -hmm. Okay, only one, Rafael. Solo uno, only one. On, uh, um, I'm meeting my boss. Okay, I'm meeting with your boss. Okay, excellent. Thank you very much, Rafael. Thank you, Maria. Uh, Rafael, now you ask, um, please. Miss, who chose the event as you were played? My yes. boss. What are some events that are taking please? Okay, um, payment staff list. Payments um, of the staff, yeah. And attend attend the audit review. And an occupation occupational stay. How do you say? Seguridad occupational. Seguridad ocupacional. Yes. 
Um, but what do you want? What, what is it about exactly? De qué trata exactamente es? It's new for una, me. Una, ah, una reunión sobre seguridad ocupacional. Ah, okay, I see. Okay, uh, you can say a meeting about uh -huh. occupational security. Ah, okay. Yeah. Or safety, I don't know. I, I don't know exactly what is it about. <laughs> Okay. okay, you can say security. I believe you know, in safety. Yeah, because I don't know the term. The thing is that the term is new for me. Uh, yes, ah. safety. I safety. Believe. Safety? Safety? Yes, Ellen Nielsen. Safety, okay. Yeah, I, um, before that was known that uh, industrial safety. Oh, I see. I see. Okay, then it's safety, Liz. I'm sorry. The thing is that even in Spanish, okay. the, the term was new for me. In español, incluso era es nuevo para mí el término. It's new for me. Okay. Yeah, you can say then um, okay. industrial thank or you. occupational safety. Okay. You better say safety. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, uh, Liz and Rafa. Now, Liz, um, you can ask Hilmar. Hilmar. Yeah. Hilmar. Who schedules the events at your your workplace? It's my box. Okay. What are some events that are taking place the next week? Okay. Um, I'm organizing a meeting on Monday, February at 40. And next, uh, meeting the client on Thursday, February. Um, 15. 15. 15. 15. Yeah. Uh, 15. Okay. Uh, um, attend a meeting on Saturday and uh, February uh, 19. Okay. Very good. February. February. Oh, okay. February. 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 Yeah. February. Right. Okay. 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 That's very good. Thank you very much for your uh, participation. Now, please, everybody. Go to reactions and give your classmates a reaction. Okay, go to reactions and give your classmates a reaction, please. All right, thank you for your participation. We appreciate that. Okay, thank you very much. Good. Uh, let's go to the second activity. Okay, we always, on the second activity of every part, we always have a conversation, right? Yeah. But this time, the vocabulary is different, of course, okay? So we have this conversation and I want you to take a moment, take a moment and check the conversation, read the conversation and check the new vocabulary. Take a moment, read the conversation and check the new vocabulary. Identify new vocabulary, please. Check the conversation and identify new vocabulary. Hello, Henry. I have a question. Why? Why is presenting the nombre vos me allí? La pichita de la Diana son. Okay, let's see. Uh, let's see what you have. Uh, the idea was 
to read and to check or identify the new vocabulary, okay? So did you identify new vocabulary? Identificar un nuevo vocabulario? Did you identify new vocabulary? Yes. Okay, Maria, Maria and then Liz, Maria? Uh, guess what? Guess what, all right. Sounds great. Sounds, sounds great. Ah, sounds great. Sounds great. Visto, creo. Yes. Uh -huh. Sounds great. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sounds great. Sí, uh, anybody else? Alice? Yes. Sorry. Liz? Girly. No. No. If... Liz, yes? So... No, no, no. okay. Girly. Girly. Okay, Girly conference. Yeah. Okay, what else? ¿Qué más? Girly conference? Attending. Attending, the attending the conference. Okay, very good. I see. I see, all right. I see. Este lo vimos la vez pasada, pero lo vamos a repasar. We will review it. But I am informing. Informing. But I, and informing. Ah, but if and I am informing. Okay. But if, here. But if, okay, but if. Here. Any other? Deliver. What is deliver? Who is delivering? Entregar. Entregando, okay. O llevando las presentaciones. Good. Okay. Okay. Sorry. About it. About it. What is it? The last one. The last one. Oh, the committee. About it. Okay. Okay, now let's check. Revisemos. A uh, yearly, ¿qué dijimos que era yearly? Do you remember? Anual. 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 Conferencia anual. anual. Conferencia anual, okay? In the yearly conference and la conferencia anual. Good. Every year. Mm -hmm. Attending the conference, Julie is attending the conference. Julie está atendiendo la conferencia. Atenderá año también. Va, I would say va a atender. Julie va a asistir más bien. Julie va a asistir a la conferencia, ¿ok? ¿Ok? Uh, Julie is attending the conference this year. I see is... Ah, ya veo. I see. Ah, ya veo. Uh -huh. Ya veo. Yes, we started this the last time. But if... Uh -huh. Es pero, pero si... Sí. Pero si Julie... Estará asistiendo o, a, o va a asistir. But if Julie is attending, okay? I guess what? Guess, guess what? Adivina uh, qué. Adivina, adivina, adivina qué. Uh, guess what? Guess what? It's like, guess what? Okay? Adivina qué. I am. I am presenting blah, blah, blah. Sounds great. ¿Qué era sounds great? Do you remember? Yeah. Suena genial. Suena genial. Suena, suena genial. grandioso. Okay? I am informing the committee about it. Yo voy a informar, okay? Yo voy a informar al comité about it acerca de ello o acerca de eso. Acerca de ello o acerca de eso, about it. Yes? Committee is committee, right? Committee. Now listen. Me pueden decir en ese momento, Bernardo, pero nosotros hemos estudiado el presente continuo. Y se traduce... Julie está asistiendo a una conferencia. Julie está asistiendo. Yo estoy presentando. Yo estoy informando. It's correct. But the purpose here is different. Es, tienen, tendrían razón si me dicen eso. Pero aquí el propósito es diferente. El propósito es a future intention. Or a future plan. Un plan futuro. A future plan. Ok. That's the context. Ese es el contexto aquí. That's the context here. Ya. Yeah? Okay, now listen to the pronunciation. Escuchemos la pronunciación. Listen to the pronunciation. Hello, Henry. I have a question. Who is representing the company in the yearly conference? Hey, Peter. Well, Maria is. But Julie is attending the conference this year too. So, I see. But if Julie is attending, who is delivering the presentations for the CEO next week? Guess what? I am. I am presenting with Hector, the new accountant. Sounds great. So I am informing the committee about it. Listen again. Escuchamos otra vez. Listen again. 
Hello, Henry. I have a question. Who is representing the company in the yearly conference? Representing. Representing. Hey, Peter. Well, Maria is. Marie, uh, but Julie is attending the conference this year too. So, I see. But if Julie is attending, who is delivering the presentations for the CEO next week? Guess what? I am. I am presenting with Hector, the new accountant. Sounds great. So I am informing the committee about it. I am informing the committee, committee, committee about it, about it, committee about it. So I am informing the committee about it. Okay, now listen and repeat. Escuchamos y repitamos. Escuchen y repitan. Listen and repeat, please. Con el micrófono apagado, with the microphone off, please. Hello, Henry. I have a question. Who is representing the company in the yearly conference? Yearly conference. Hey, Peter. Hey, Peter. Well, Maria is. But Julie is attending the conference this year too. So, I see. But if Julie is attending, But if, but if, but if, ahí conectamos, we connect the sounds, but if Julie is attending, who is delivering the presentations for the CEO next week? Guess what? Guess what? I am, I am, I am presenting with Hector, the new accountant. Presenting. Sounds great. So I am informing the committee about it. So I am informing the committee about it. Uh, so the conversation is on page 29. Page 29. La conversación es en la página 29. Page number 29. Okay. So I will give you four minutes. In pairs, you will practice the pronunciation of the conversation. Okay. Four minutes. In pairs, you will practice the conversation, okay? Only the pronunciation, solo la pronunciación, okay? So let's go to practice in pairs. Si alguien le corresponde con alguien que no va a trabajar, me avisan, por favor. Piden ayuda, okay? Ask for help, okay? Teacher, yo no entré a la conferencia. Hola, Rafael. Hola. No, 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 no me logré conectar a, con alguien ahorita. Eh, ¿No le cayó la notificación? No, no. Ok. Sí, porque según tengo aquí, lo mandó al equipo 3. No sé si le cayó la notificación y se desapareció o qué pasó. Rafael, hello. Hola, Rafael. El micrófono, micrófono, micrófono.
conference this year too. So uh, I see I see Bar Bart Julie is at in who is delivering the representation for the CEO Ms. Smith. Who's what? I am. I am presenting with Hector the new content. So, so I I am informing the comic about 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 it. Okay. Teacher, yo lo había llamado porque no había entrado nadie. Ay, pues, sí, por eso, en, por eso envía Santos. That's why okay. I send Santos. Okay. Okay. Bye. Okay. Empiezo yo entonces ahora. Santos. Okay. You start. Hello, Henry. I have a question. Who is representing the company in the yearly conference? Hey, Peter. Well, Maria is about Julius attend, attending the conference this year too, so. Hello, Henry. I have a question. Who is presenting the company in the yearly conference? Hey, Peter. Well, Maria is but Julie is attending the conference this year too. So I see. But is Julie is attending what is the leaving the presentation for the CAO next week? Guess what? I am. I am presenting with Hector the new accountant. So great. So and young information they committed about it. Okay. Una pregunta. Hello, Henry. ¿Sí? ¿Cómo se pronuncia WHO? Who o who? Who. Who, who. who is? Mm -hmm. Ah. Como uh -huh. who. Hi. So. Ajá, es como este año también. Así que. Ese so es como así que. Como admiración o algo así, uh, más o menos. I see. Uh -huh. But if Julie is attending, who is delivering the presentations for the CEO next week? Guess what? I am. I, I am presenting. ¿Cómo se pronuncia eso? Presenting. I am, pre uh -huh. I am presenting with, with Hector. The new accounting. Sounds great. So I'm informing the committee committee about it. Okay. Teacher. No está, teacher. Hello, hello, teacher. No está. Yo no, intento. no está. Hello. 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 <laughs> Everybody is quiet in this break room. Y el teacher, pues, el teacher sustituto, ¿dónde está? <risa> es de Nilsson, ¿eh? Ah, ¿Quién quiere? Es de Nilsson, teacher. Guess what is Rafael? Not me. Mm, who is taking the lead? ¿Quién está the, tomando el hidrato? Who is taking the lead? The assistant is Rafael. Rafael, Rafael. 
Rafael is taking a deal. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry to the revolution. I'm sorry to leave you alone. Lo siento por dejarlo solo, pero tuve que ir a ver algo, una emergencia ahí rapidito. I'm sorry. El teacher andaba ya en su play. Yeah, no es que el, es que en realidad el mío está un poquito mal, entonces fui, pensé que estaba pasando algo por ahí, entonces por eso fui corriendo a ver. I'm sorry, lo siento. Okay, don't worry. Yeah. It's a, it was an emergency, okay? No fue que le quise, no no fue que quise que Rafael tomara el liderazgo, pero si lo tomó no hay problema, okay? <laughs> Nos abandonó. <laughs> it doesn't matter, okay? The most important is that you're trying. Lo más importante que estamos intentando. That's the most important here, okay? Thank you, thank you. All right, very good. Okay, so uh, let's listen to two pairs of volunteers. Dos parejas de voluntarios, two pairs of volunteers. De lo, así con el que practicaron, with the person you practice, okay? I am teacher. All right, very good. Let's listen to Carla. Okay. And who is your, your pair, Carla? Isabel. Okay, let's listen to Isabel and Carla. You start, Carla? I'm Peter. Okay. Hello Henry. I Hello Henry. I have a question. Who is representing the company in the yearly conference? Hi Peter. Well, Maria is, but Julie is attending the conference this year too. So I see. But if, but if Julie is attending, who is delivering the presentation for the CEO next week? Guess what? I am. I am presenting with Hector, the new accountant. Sounds great. So I am informing the committee about about it about it about it about it about it okay thank you uh maria isabel and carla thank you very much for your participation mm -hmm. very good good pronunciation i like it i can see you practice <laughs> okay <laughs> thank you all right okay now let's listen to another pair of volunteers Otra pareja de voluntarios. another pair of volunteers hi teacher Okay, Santos, who is your pair? ¿Quién es tu pareja? Who is your pair? Uh, Ellen Nilsson. Okay, let's listen to Ellen Nilsson and Santos. So wait a minute, wait a minute. You, you Peter or Henry Ellen Nilsson? Uh, Peter. Okay. Okay. You start. Okay. Hello, Henry. I have a question. I have a question. Who is representing the company in the yearly conference? Hey, Peter. Will Maria is, is about it. Julie is attending the conference this year too, so. I see. But if Julie is attending, who is delivering the presentations for the CEO next week? Who is that? I am. I am represent, represented with Hector, the new accountant. Sounds great. So I am informing the committee about it. Okay, thank you very much. That's excellent. Thank you for your uh, participation. Now, please, everybody, go to reactions and give participants a reaction, please. Go to reactions and give your classmates a reaction. This time, I will give them a like. Le voy a dar un like. I will give them a like, okay? Very good. That's excellent. Thank you very much. Very good. Uh, now, uh, listen, um, I need your help, okay? Um, According to the conversation, 
de acuerdo a la conversación, according to the conversation, how can I complete this? ¿Cómo puedo completar acá? Number one, how can I complete it? ¿Cómo puedo completarla? He is present. Presenting. Presenting, okay, thank you very much. Presenting, okay, you say? He is presenting. Okay, that's very good. So let me complete here. He is presenting. So I need to put ing. He is presenting with the new employee. Number two. How can I complete it? ¿Cómo puedo completar la oración dos? How can I complete sentence two? I am. I am, exactly. Mm -hmm. I am informing the committee about that or about it, right? Good. Now, I have a question. The, que the question is, in the previous module, in the module anterior, in the previous module, uh, did you study the present continuous? Estudiaron el present continuous or el present progressive? The present continuous. Present continuous, yeah. Did you study it? ¿Lo estudiaron? Yes. En el que usamos ING, así como eso. Did you study that? ¿Estudiaron eso? No. 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 I don't remember that. No, you didn't no. study it. No. Okay. Now, let me uh, give you a short explanation, okay? I have a short explanation for this. Tengo una explicación un poco breve. I have a short explanation. This is on the book, right? Eso está en el libro. This is on the, on the book. Pay attention carefully, please. Pongamos mucha atención, por favor. Pay attention carefully, please. Good. Now listen. This, in grammar, we call it the present continuous. En gramática, a eso le llamamos presente continuo. Or present continuous. What is the purpose? ¿Cuál es el propósito? Arrangements for events. Okay? Son planes de eventos. So, in other words, it's for future events. Es para hablar de eventos futuros. O planes futuros, sure. okay? Yeah. Future events. Or future plans, okay? Planes futuros, future plans. Arrangements for events. What is the formula? ¿Cuál es la fórmula que vamos a seguir la estructura? Subject, sujeto, por acá, miren, I. Verb to be, una forma del verbo to be que sería am. El verbo principal, con ING, gerund, sería Chau. meeting. Gerund quiere decir que le ponemos ING al verbo. En español el ING es el ando y el endo, ¿ok? And then the complement, y luego el complemento, right? Y puede ir una frase en futuro. Una frase de tiempo en futuro, ¿ok? Here. Yes, I am meeting the interns tomorrow. ¿Cómo lo decimos en español? Como es una intención futuro, es un plan futuro, es a future plan, no voy a decir estoy reuniéndome con algunos internos mañana. ¿Ok? ¿Ya? Yeah. Digo me voy a reunir o me reuniré, right? Yes, that's different. Yes? So this action takes place in the future. Veamos el otro ejemplo. The other example. She is interviewing them at 5 p.m. Oh, she is. El sujeto que es she is, que es el is. verbo to be, interview, el verbo principal con la ing, interviewing, them at 5 p.m. Lo va a entrevistar a las 5, ¿ok? Next, I am writing the report next week. Yo voy a escribir el reporte la otra semana, ¿ok? Literalmente mm -hmm. diría yo estoy escribiendo, pero no podemos decir yo estoy escribiendo en español porque la intención es un plan futuro, ¿ya? Yeah? Tengo que darle sentido. I have to make sense of it. Yes? And then, I am sending it as soon as you finish. Oh. Literalmente diría, estoy enviándolo. Sí, sí, sí. Ah, pero no, ¿verdad? Porque no es, es, no es en este momento. Es in, it's in future, ¿ok? So that means, lo voy a enviar tan pronto como termines. As soon as you finish. Lo voy a enviar. O lo enviaré si quieren, ¿ok? ¿Ya? Yeah? So this is the structure, y la estructura que usamos es la que hemos estado viendo ahorita, okay? Let me give you some other examples. Let me give you some other examples, like real life examples. Uh, if you ask me, Bernardo, what are you doing tomorrow? Ah, Bernardo, what are you doing tomorrow? Bernardo, ¿qué va a hacer mañana? And I say, 
I am, for example, I am um, given a class. Yes. I am giving class tomorrow. Okay, it's an arrangement. Yeah. Yo voy a dar clases mañana. Yo daré clases mañana. Okay. Uh, I can say, Sara, what are you doing tomorrow, Sara? ¿Qué va a ser mañana? What are you doing tomorrow? For Sara. Sara, what are you doing tomorrow, Sara? ¿Qué va a ser mañana? Work. Ah, ok. I will say then, she is, she is, porque con el she se usa el is, ¿verdad? She is working. She is working uh, tomorrow. Ella va a trabajar mañana. She is working tomorrow. Very good. Um, let's see, Javier. What are you doing tomorrow, Javier? Um, I drive the driving my work in the uh, the repaired uh, the repairs danger the the cars. Okay, I am driving to my work. Vamos a dejar solo yeah. eso. I am driving to my work. Voy a manejar al trabajo, yes? So I will say he is driving. Oh my goodness, I'm sorry. Okay, he is driving. I will say to work. Al trabajo, okay? Él va a manejar al trabajo. He is driving to work. Y si yo les pregunto a todos en general, okay, if I ask you in general, What are you doing tomorrow? ¿Qué van a hacer? What are you doing tomorrow night? ¿Qué van a hacer mañana en la noche? What are you doing tomorrow night? What do you answer? ¿Qué me responden? We are receiving the class. Ah, exactly. I'm... Or you can say we are attending, yeah. right? Okay, let me get the pen. Solo déjenme buscar el lapicero aquí. So you say we are, okay? We are attending the class, okay? Yes. We are attending a class, a, an English class, I will say, all right, to be more specific, an English uh, class. Okay, vamos a asistir a una clase de inglés. We are attending an English class. Miren la estructura. We okay, are all. attending class. Okay, miren la estructura siempre. I will use a different color. Subject, verb to be, y el verbo con ing. Subject, oh my goodness, I'm sorry. Subject, verb to be, el verbo con gerundio. El verbo en gerundio, sorry, the verb in German. He, subject, verbo to be, y el verbo con ing. Subject, verb to be, y el verbo con ing, all right? Pueden usar el negativo, solo le ponen el not después del verbo to be. For example, I am not giving a class tomorrow. She is not working tomorrow. He is not driving to work. We are not attending an English class tomorrow. Okay? Para hacer el negativo. Do you have any questions? Uh, yes. Uh, yes, Maria? But, but the complement is not necessary because, uh, for, a, for example, somebody says, uh, I am working, I am working. But I hmm. have to say I am working tomorrow. I mean, the complement is unnecessary, but the time expression is necessary. La expresión de tiempo uh -huh. sí es necesaria. Porque okay. esa expresión de tiempo es la que me va a decir en qué tiempo estoy hablando, ¿ok? Okay. okay. If I say only I am working, it can be in this moment, um, podría ser que sea en ese momento estoy working. trabajando. <laughs> exactly. Uh, I am working. Too. Yeah, exactly. So the time expression is important here. La expresión de tiempo yeah. en futuro es importante acá. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Any other question? Sí, tengo una pregunta. Okay, Ellen Nielsen. Esto, si entiendo y, y, y sé que, que, bueno, yo he visto el, 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 el tiempo o continuo como igual, he utilizado con el gerundio, pero para decir, por ejemplo, I'm working to my work. Entonces, en ese, en ese contexto estoy diciendo estoy caminando al trabajo uh -huh. o a mi trabajo. ¿verdad? Entonces, en este caso, 
usamos la misma estructura y la única diferencia es el adverbio de tiempo. ¿Estoy en lo correcto? You're right. Definitely. Okay. Definitivamente, ahora, ¿ok? Yes, ¿ahora? Ahora. Eh, ok. Ahora, si... Entonces, en ese caso, la traducción sería yo recibo, por ejemplo, o yo asisto. En este caso, we are attending. Eh, es, nosotros eh, asistimos. O, a, o, en este, o, o yo, por ejemplo, I'm attending. I'm, yo recibo. Ya no okay. puedo... Yo no, eh, o sea, no sé. En ese, en, ese, en ese sentido. Ok. I get your point. It's okay. Ya, yeah. okay. Uh, ok. Lo que él está diciendo es muy importante porque el presente continuo se puede usar con otro propósito, no solamente con un propósito de un plan futuro. Se puede usar con un propósito de hablar de actividades que estoy haciendo yo en este momento o en estos días. ¿Ok? Por ejemplo, el, lo, lo que él estaba diciendo, o, o lo que ustedes están haciendo ahorita. ¿Qué están haciendo ahorita? Están escuchando la clase, ¿right? Sí. Yes? Uh -huh. So, yo podría Saving. decir, you are listening sí. to the class listening. or to the teacher. Ajá. Mm -hmm. También podría okay. ser como tipo plural y singular. Ya. Yeah. Sí. Mm -hmm. Ya. Yeah. So, I can say, we are listening to the teacher. Nosotros estamos escuchando al profesor. Y es la misma estructura. We are listening con ING, right? Ya. Yeah? Yes. Ah, ¿qué, qué? ¿Cuál es la diferencia entonces? El contexto. La expresión de tiempo, lo que dijimos, ¿ok? Podría ser que cuando hablo actividades, porque puedo, puedo usar la misma estructura para hablar de actividades en este momento, ¿ok? O okay. actividades que estoy haciendo estos días, ¿ok? okay. For example, I can say, um, I am working at Inglés Corporativo this month, ¿ok? Estoy trabajando en Inglés Corporativo este mes. So it's a... It's, a, uh, it's something I'm doing these days. Algo que estoy haciendo estos días, ¿ok? Es el mismo propósito. ¿Qué cambia, el, que cambia la, la, el significado? El contexto. Ah, pero si yo digo lo que estamos viendo ahorita, um, I am not working with English Corporativo next month. No, no, no lo voy a traducir. Yo no estoy trabajando con inglés Corporativo el otro mes. No, ¿verdad que no tendría sentido? No, right? No. De acuerdo al contexto, no tendría sentido. Y si, incluso si uso la misma estructura, I am working with inglés corporativo next month, la traducción sería, yo voy a trabajar, o yo trabajaré. Porque es una intención futura. It's a future intention, ¿ok? Or a future plan, un plan futuro. Y algo importante es que uso esta estructura cuando estoy seguro que voy a hacer eso. Estoy seguro, es un plan. Por eso dice arrangement. Es un plan, es algo que ya tengo agendado. ¿Ok? ¿Ya? Yeah. Ok. Any other question? It's an no arrangement. Es lo que aparecía ahí al principio de la, de, de no. la, de la explicación. Sí. Yeah. Acá. Acá. Arrangements. Ok. Arrangements oh, okay. for events. Ok. Planes mm. para eventos. ¿Ya? Yeah. So, any other question? Do we have any other question? No? Everything clear? No questions? So, so. <laughs> so, so. Okay. Okay, if you have no questions, it's time for you to work. Si no tienen preguntas, vamos a hacer una actividad entonces. We'll do one activity. Okay, listen. Listen up. Escuchen. Listen up. Ahí abajito del cuadrito, en la página 30, tienen some, you have some sentences, okay? Tienen algunas oraciones en el ejercicio 4. They are Disorganized, están desorganizadas. You need to unscramble the sentences, right? Van a, eh, van a ordenar esas oraciones. You will organize the sentences. For example, number one is, José is receiving the new workers tomorrow. Así queda la número uno, right? ¿Cómo quedan las otras? ¿Lo hacen en su okay. cuaderno? Ok. ¿En parejas o en equipos de tres? What do you prefer? What do you prefer? In pairs or groups of three? In pairs. In pairs. Ok, so let's work in pairs then. Vamos a trabajar en parejas entonces. La idea del, del trabajo en pareja siempre es ayudarse, ¿verdad? Help each yes. other. Ayudarse mutuamente. Help each other. Ok, let's go to work in pairs. Vamos a trabajar en parejas entonces. Let's go to work in pairs. 
Okay, let's go. Seven minutes, siete minutos, seven minutes. Ok, voy a ver si, a ver si no, me, no me saca del, del, del cuadro. Ok. Que a mí me está fallando un poquito el Inter también. Ah, sí, eso estaba oyendo, que se, que se oye como cortado. ¿verdad? Ajá. Okay. La número dos nos tocaría hacer entonces, ¿verdad? Exacto, bueno, eh, vamos a anotar la uno por... Por referencia. Sí, cabal, José, y José, Tomorrow. The new workers. Tomorrow. Pues... Mark is sería. Hello. Mark is porque es como he is there. Uh -huh. Sending the letters, sending the letters. 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 The next week, uh -huh. the next week. The next week. Next week. Mm -hmm. Va en la tres. Okay. La siguiente. Sería Jane. Jane. Ajá. Uh -huh. Is. Is working. The report. No. James is working. Tommy. Tom. Tom. Tommy. The report. Work. On the report. No, no, I creo que sería. Jane, Jane is. S es es el, el primero, porque el sujeto y Jane is. Tommy. Oh. Esta palabra, no, no, no sé qué es. Tommy. Tommy. No, no, sí. Creo que es noche. No, noche. Creo. No. Tonight no. es esta tonight. noche. Esta noche. Ah, tonight. Ok, ok, ok. Night. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Tonight. Tonight. The pronunciation is tonight. 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 Esta noche. Okay. Working tonight. Okay. Mm -hmm. John is the report. Is working. Is working. Work, working. 
working. Jane. Jane. Jane is working. working on the report. Sería tonight. 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 Sería. Y la por sería. Por. Sí, a Walter is. Walter is. Signing. 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 The checks. Today. 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 Today is today. Today. Mm -hmm. Sería María is. Marina. Así es Marina, es que María. <laughs> <laughs> Está leyendo otro. <laughs> Uh, Marina. Marina. Hi, teacher. Hello, did you finish? Eh, yes, eh, Rafael dijo que lo esperara un momento porque iba a ser algo. No sé. Ah, okay. Yeah, it's okay. But you finished. Yes, yes, thank okay, you. Okay, that's perfect. Okay. We, we don't listen to you, Rafael. No se escucha, Rafael. Okay, I oh, okay, perfect. He finished okay. too. It's okay. Ok, vamos a esperar a algunos que aún no regresan, ok? Like two pairs, I think. So let's wait a moment. Esperemos un momentito a los demás. Asistencia, teacher. Oh, yeah. Solo, solo espero a los demás porque faltan algunos todavía que no han salido. Let me see, veamos. Teacher, eh, organize y organizing. Yes, with ING is organizing. Organizing. Organizing with organizing. ING. Exactly. <laughs> Organizing, organizing, organizing. Bueno, ya están todos aquí. It's everybody's here, I think. Okay, so let me pass the attendance quickly. Voy a pasar rápidamente entonces la asistencia. Aida. Present. Uh, Blanca. Present. Carlos. Claudia. Cerrase mi guapo. Ok. Aileen Nielsen. Present teacher. Very good. Hilman. Present teacher. Good. Irma. Irma. Javier. Present teacher. Jamie. Present. Carla. Present. María. Present. Mario. Present. Marvin. Uh, Robinson. Rafael, sorry, Rafael. Present, teacher. Ok, Robinson. I am here. Salma. Salma. Santos. I am here, teacher. Sara. 
Present teacher. Ah, uh, Wendy. Present teacher. Liz. Present teacher. And Vanessa. <coughs> I'm sorry. Uh, and Vanessa. God bless you. Thank you very much. Vanessa? No, right. She's not present, I think. She was, but she's not. Okay, very good. Muy bien. Uh, estamos ya sobre el tiempo. We are, uh, we are not on time anymore. Um, I know you finished the sentence. Sé que ya terminaron las oraciones. Solo quiero darles una breve explicación, pero lo haré mañana para no quitarle más tiempo. Para no quitar tiempo a la persona que está en la sesión uno a uno también, ¿ok? So, don't worry. We check the sentences tomorrow. Vamos a revisar las oraciones mañana y les explico algo así rapidito acerca de eso, ¿ok? Yeah. So, uh, thank you very much for connecting today. See you tomorrow. Goodbye and good night. Carla se queda nada más. Good morning, everyone. Good night. Good night. Tomorrow. Yes, yeah, see you tomorrow. <laughs> good night, teacher. See you good tomorrow. night. See you tomorrow. Ok, Carla. Space for you. Este espacio es para ti. No sé si tienes alguna pregunta. Eh, yes, teacher. The pronunciation. Pronunciation, ok. ¿De qué parte específicamente? ¿Alguna parte que quieras practicar? ¿O en general? ¿En general? Eh, y... Quiero una conversación. Te, com te comparto si gustan. Solo dime qué conversación es. La página. Y... Uy, no pasé. La página 20. Ok, ahorita voy. Página 20. Ok, let me look, let me look for it. Ahorita la buscamos. Uy, pasé un poquito. Página 20, here. ¿Esa es página 20? Sí. ¿Which part? Sí. ¿Qué parte? ¿Los adverbios? Ajá, los adverbios. Ok. Very good. Los adverbios específicamente quieres que pronunciamos, ¿sí? Sí, es que cuando, lo de eh, early, early ever. Ok, hardly ever. Hardly ever. Hardly ever. Okay. Y, y el otro, ra, ra, rarely. Rarely, rarely, rarely. 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 Si gusta, los pronunciamos todos. ¿Te parece? Ok. Ok. Ahora sí puedes repetir. En la clase no lo hacemos porque hay demasiada interferencia. A veces hay ruidos en la clase, por eso no lo hacemos. Pero aquí, si solo somos los dos, puedes repetir. ¿Ok? Ok, let's do it. Always. 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 Usually. 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 Normally. 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 Often. 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 Ahí la T no suena, solo digo often, often, ¿ok? Uh, ok, often. Yeah, sometimes. 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 So, sometimes. Occasionally. 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 
Occasionally. Seldom. 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 Hardly ever. Hardly ever. Hardly ever. Hardly ever. Rarely. 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 Never. 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 Okay. Muy bien. Otra que otra parte que necesites pronunciar la podemos revisar. We can check it. El, el, los números que estamos viendo hoy. Ok. Déjame ir a los números entonces. Ok, let me, let me look for them. Déjame buscarlos nada más. Ok. Ok, here. Ok. ¿Hay alguno o en todos tienes, sientes que tienes problemas? ¿O hay alguno específico? ¿O en eh, general? Eh, me estaban comentando mis compañeras que se terminaba con Z. Sí, es que básicamente esa TH, ok, esa TH que tenemos se pronuncia con la lengua entre los dientes. Es decir, el cuarto se dice for it, for it, for it. For it. Uh -huh. Fifth. 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 Sixth. Sixth. Seventh. Seventh. Ajá, uh -huh. así, con la lengua entre los dientes, ¿ok? La TH, okay. de TH. Si gusta, los pronunciamos todos igual, así como hicimos con los adverbios de frecuencia. ¿Te parece? Okay. Sí. Ok, let's do it. Hagámoslo entonces. Ok. Ok, solo déjame buscar el marcador. Ok. First. 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 Second. 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 Third. Third. Ajá, con la, la TH, con la lengua entre los dientes, dijimos ahora al principio, ¿ok? Third. Ok. Third. Third. Ajá, third. Fourth. Third. Ajá, fourth. Fourth. Fifth. Fifth. Sixth. Sixth. Seventh. Seventh. Eighth. Eighth. Ninth. Ninth. Tenth. Tenth. Ok, ahí no, no me detengo mucho porque son los números normales, solo que le ponemos una, la, la Z al final, la que dicen los compañeros. O lo hacemos con la lengua entre sí. los dientes, ¿ok? Let's continue, continuemos. Okay. Eleventh. Eleventh. Twelve. Twelve. Thirteenth. 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 Fourteenth. Fourteenth. Fifteenth. Sixteenth. Fifteenth. Sixteenth. 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 Seventeenth. Seventeenth. Eighteenth. Eighteenth. Nineteenth. Nineteenth. Twentieth. Twentieth. Ahí la T no se pronuncia, ¿ok? Twentieth. Twentieth. Twenty-first. Twenty-first. Twenty-second. Twenty-second. Twenty-third. Twenty-third. Twenty-fourth. Twenty-fourth. Twenty-fifth. Twenty-fifth. Twenty-sixth. Twenty-six. Twenty-seventh. 27th, 28th, 29th, 29th, 30th, 30th. Ahí la T igual no se pronuncia. 30th, 30th, Ajá, 31st, 31st. Ok, excelente, excelente.
Ok. I think that's it, Brian. Creo que eso es todo. No sé si tienes otra duda. Otra parte. Eh, no, solo como, solo se, ¿cómo se dice? 33, así con los números. Ah. Yo le intentaba decir, pero dijo, no me salía bien. Ok, 30, el 30 es 30, ¿verdad? Solo el 30, 30. Ajá. Y si le agrego el tercero sería 33rd. 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 3rd, ajá, le agrego el tercero. Ok, 33rd. 33rd. Exactly, así, exactamente, exactly. Solo eso sería mi duda de hoy. Ok, Carla. Thank you very much for connecting. Gracias por conectarte. Thank you for connecting. Gracias. Feliz okay. noche. Ok, good night. See you tomorrow. Ok, okay bye.